Ow. All right. That... <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? Yes, I clamped a little bit too hard and it created suction. That's staying in. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> All right. And with that, and within the first 30 seconds, we are officially demonetized. What? <laughs> yep. You didn't know about that? We, we were making money off of this? Yeah. <laughs> Well, YouTube's making money off of this. YouTube will put ads on things. We're really getting demonetized now. YouTube will oh, okay. put ads on things. All right, so here's the thing. YouTube uh -huh. will demonetize something, right? Uh -huh. And then put ads on it themselves and not wow. give money to the creators. Wow. I don't know if that's still a thing, but that was a thing. Hey, wow. we just we just sort of dove in because we went right from one to the other. I'm Roxy. I'm Max. And we're playing the special two for Alan Wake. The writer. Previously on Alan Wake. Let's pay attention this time. Okay. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife okay, we saw that. Dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own Very existence. Various voice no does not fit this. <laughs> it did not. Is all this really coming out of my head? I made my way across its ever shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Lane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. <laughs> the way Barry's like <laughs> voice sounded in that, it sounded like Homer Simpson's like there money can be used to buy more peanuts or whatever. It's it's like, the thing is, his voice wasn't distorted like the other voices, so it really no. stood out. Yeah. Really, wake. Really. You're doing. Are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al, you need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. I'm glad they brought back Barry's actor for this. You see what I mean, Al? Ugh, I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could All feel right. the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. I, I would hang up some of these paintings. <laughs> Ooh, that one's... Look at that one. Oh, that's creepy. I like that one. Yeah. That one's neat, but... You know how much I love women. Oh, the crow one? Very cool. Oh, that does look cool. It, it looks like it's wearing a, a cloak of dark feathers. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm looking for a flashlight. I thought that was a shiny to pick up. Did you notice that light? Might be useful. Push the button. Oh, well, that's neat. Do I have to go the other way? I don't know. Maybe, like, I don't know, keep it, uh, keep it right here or whatever, and then, like, see where, it, see what that does. Sorry, I can't go any further that way. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. I would not have assumed that you were supposed to swing it that hard. Like, I saw the lamp swing, but I just thought it was physics being weird. I didn't think it was the puzzle. I had to accept it. <laughs> if all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It that's a lantern. Clarity. So, so basically, at the end, all right, let me try and summarize. At the end of Alan Wake, he threw himself into the shores, the dark place, to get his wife out to save her. Cool. Uh-huh. And then... <laughs> what did you go? <laughs> Ran into it. <laughs> Listen, it was a surprise. And then during <laughs> signals, then during signals, he thought that he was being fucked over, oh, that's a heavy-duty one, by the dark presence. Uh -huh. But he's really being messed up by his own mind. Because... I don't think there's anyone who hates Alan more than Alan. Yeah. He seems like he, he seems like a man who's really sad. Um. There we go. 
Um, and he realized he was keeping himself in here. So I think at this point, this is him. I'm, I'm assuming this will be, get in there, you dumbass. I'm assuming this is going to be him trying to get out of the dark place, right? Yeah. Like, now, now that he knows that it's not the dark presence, that's literally himself, he has a chance to be able to get out. Did I pick up... Was there a weapon in there I missed? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, because I thought I picked up ammo, but I don't... I didn't pick up a gun. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. Did I... Did I miss something up here? I don't know. Oh. I did. Uh, yeah, I think after after that hour and a half, we should have uh, we should have restarted the stream before starting restarting the recording. Whose artwork is this? I don't know. Thanks. I guess colonists. Barry. Hey, Barry. You need some some snacks. Snacks sound good. Yeah, I have popcorn with me right now, but I'm refusing to eat it because I don't want you to hear me smacking my lips. I appreciate that. Night Springs. We picked up. That's the collectible. Night Springs video game. Remember Night Springs? It was the weird. It was the weird show. Remember? Yeah. So we're saying we're. I know it's supposed to be like a Twin Peaks reference, but I just think Life is Strange, hey, which is literally nice just a Twin job, Peaks reference. Al. So you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it. We always knew this was coming. Pop out, Barry. Yes. Come on, pop again. Don't have an effect. Just pop. Rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. Oh, Max hell yeah, let's go light. there. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Ah. <laughs> Why can't they just put a wispy smoke? <laughs> Any Why? effect would have been good. Oh my god. Lots of fireworks here. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors. I gotta say, the guy, the guy doing live action Alan, who I think is the guy who voices Alan, he, he's doing pretty good. Like they're not yeah. filming him consistently, but he, you know, I think he's doing well. Yeah. You think they got the, the same? They, they they got the same guy to play Alan Wake in Alan Wake yeah. 2? He's like he's like a designer in the company. He's like part of the company. Oh, cool. I, I believe so. I want to say so. I'm not gonna. I get I get stuff wrong a lot. Actually, you're the one with access to the internet. You can look it up. All right. I'm pretty sure they got the same actor though. Didn't he also play the director in Control? Or am I think it's someone else? No, I think that's someone else. Okay. No, he played. Didn't he play Doctor Darling in Control? Yeah, yeah, he's Casper. I mean, Darling, whatever. I'm literally next to the firework. Why aren't you dying? Why wow, wasn't he dying? I was. Did you see that? I was next to the firework. Why wasn't he dying? Yeah. So the guy That's who voices Alan here. is nice. Matthew uh, Porrera, and oh he right, he was Will, he was Will Scarlet in Men in Tights. He is, yeah, it literally says his most famous 
most famous for his roles as Robin Hood in New Adventures of Robin Hood and Dan Rubin in the original Beverly oh, yeah. Hills 90210. Uh, so the guy I was thinking of, I believe, was the voice of um... Why can't I remember the game series? Uh... Wow, legitimately, why can't I remember the game series? Um... It, it was a game that had the bullet time physics. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the series? Bullet time what? physics. Why am I blanking? Sam Lake was the name. Was the was the voice? Uh, and he was also the face model. Max Payne. Okay. How did? I, oh my God! Why couldn't I come up with Max Payne? Okay, so the guy who like who does like the face, the face for Alan Wake is some guy named. Uh, Il Ilka Vili. Uh huh. He provides the virtual references here. for the character model and stuff like that. Okay. Did he do the live action? Yeah, it says he did. Uh, let me see. Yeah, but, uh, Alan Wake, uh, 2010, Alan Wake 2. Okay. Cool. L literally, all of his video game references are Alan Wake. Yeah, he's probably something else. He's probably like like a different writer, like a different. He's, he's probably he's not his finish, day job. He is a Finnish actor and writer. Yeah. I, I don't know why I'm getting fucked up so badly in this. I think the fireworks would kill them. Like a flare would be really nice right now. We don't even have the music being fun. Alan, can you stop, like, narrating terrible things for yourself? Hey, isn't it kind of ironic that you're a writer and you're threatened by your own imagination? It's like your greatest power turned against you. That's very Thanks, deep, Barry. I'm a little busy not dying over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They came from a different direction. It's just, it's, it's so annoying because it seems like they sort of just uh, transport behind you instantly. Yeah. Oh, I had a shotgun? And staying in the fireworks just hurts my eyes because of what it, what it does to the screen. Like, it's yeah, not it's good a lot visually. Yeah, it's a lot of visual clutter. Thank you, Zane. <laughs> I like to think actually we know for a fact that the two old uh, uh, biker uh, musicians 100% stockpiled ammunition and shit I thought I saw a recharge around here did I was I there it is Oh, can we not go in this way? Uh, oh. <laughs> the, the door had to fall down first. So what scary thing is going to attack us here? I don't know, more sha uh, furniture? Furniture, furniture. Whoa. See, Al? This is classic you. Always making things complicated. This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. I love that. I love Barry's just giving him shit. Uh, yeah. So I guess you're gonna need to talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know, let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah. 
was a fortune. Hey, you're moving up in the world, buddy. Yeah, I'm kind of sad to lose Barry. Say, you have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin. Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. <laughs> your previous work can help you. I like how Zane is kind of bitchy the there. Yeah, you know what he kind of looks like? Zane kind of looks like? He kind of looks What's like that? the astronaut from Returnal. Yeah. Hey, look, a page. Oh, I need to go get the page. He has I thought to focus I was being clever. on it first. Thought I was being clever. Jesus. Ooh, that's kind of. Okay, that was cool. It's very appropriate. I can help you reach it. But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The dark presence made sure that you have the job. Encounter. Good luck with that. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard that, to control. I remember, like, the whole jumping thing being tedious. Or just a pain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's different. It's actually pretty cool to see the drained, well, mostly drained lake. Oh, jeez, that is... I don't like looking at that. Do you have a vertigo, or...? Yeah, a little bit. I get, I get like that. Oh, God. So, Wait, where, where, am I, where am I going now? I think that like, look at the boat, the the buoy thingy. Oh, good call. Oh, neat. Very, look at that. very, cl very clever, Max. I didn't see that. Yay! I at least know puzzles I sometimes. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain. If it's not like a logic puzzle, then I'll be able to figure it out. He was even human anymore. After so many years. <laughs> Do you remember that stupid puzzle in Control where we had to like. Match the shapes or something. Yeah. Like, that took me way too long, and I made mostly just brute force my way through it. Oh yeah, you kind of brute force that one. I saw. Did you see the the video game by the way? For what? It's on the second. It's on the second floor. Oh no. I I saw it hanging up in the air. Oh god. Okay. Already, this is way better than the first one. I like I like the end of I, you know, I, I like the uh, enemy area in signals, and I like the uh, light the light area in signals. I guess I'm more of a like a good an atmospheric kind of person. Like if you, if it has to do if you if you expect me to like to fight my way, I I expect better controls. Right. Yeah. Like, Alan Wake's controls are, are perfectly serviceable for the exploration spooky aspect. Yeah, but then it's it's like, okay, Alan, now uh, turn into Rambo. Yeah, that, that that that's where... Um... You think this is on purpose? No. No, it's not. I think I missed my jump. Oh. I think I was too busy trying to avoid getting hit and looking for the, the like hidden video game. So I kind of fucked up. Where's the opening? Now. Yeah, I think I saw the ground and I said, "Huh, that's neat. I wonder who's that for." As soon as it like levels itself, I think that's when you have to run. Escape the darkness. I think he's just going mad. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of jumping puzzles, you're about to do a bayonet of the uh, first a bayonet of one uh, scene. Oh, 
Do you think you'll ever play Bayonetta 3? No. I think what I, what I heard about the story is just too much of a bummer. Like... No, 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 you motherfucker! <laughs> like... Don't make me do... Okay, God. It's such a disservice or a character, you mean? Yeah. M maybe in the game it's better, but just reading about what happens, I'm like, this isn't my girl. This isn't the decision she would make. <laughs> Like, at what point in 1 and 2 did she actually seem interested in, uh, what's his Luka? name, Luca? Yeah. Never. The thing is, though, they, like, they purposely made him, they changed them to make him, like, more powerful than her. Why would you do that? Yeah, so, th so that he would save her. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. <laughs> this, this, this is me paraphrasing, because I'm not going to, you know. Right, you didn't play the game. Yeah. Like, like, all the powers ahead. and stuff look cool, but I don't know. It just bums me out. I would have to make my way through this world of madness. It reminded me of the dark presence. Like, if they didn't... If they didn't so perfectly set up, uh... Jean and Bayonetta, like... Or Jean and... Ba well, how do they pronounce her name? Jean. Yeah, if they didn't perfectly set up Jean and Bayonetta... Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god. It's this, this finicky, Max. The thing is, though, it's very much like Taming a Wild Woman. Taming of the Shrew. Oh, uh, yeah. Listen, Bayonetta went to hell for her girlfriend. Yeah, And yeah. Luca's the Luka? one who gets married? Yeah. Luca was an afterthought. He was barely in the game. He, he, like, what did he do other than just show up most of the time? He creeped on Bayonetta. Yeah, that's basically she, it. Because like in the first in the first game, you can understand because he thought uh, she killed his dad, and then it's like, okay, why are you here in the second one? He he really was the only human representative, though. Yeah. Really? Like not not not. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Elio, Alonzo. Can I say uh, honest? I don't remember. They focused on the lighthouse. <laughs> so I don't, uh, I don't remember his name, but he, he was basically just Joe, uh, Joe Pesci. <laughs> oh, her, like, manager dude. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> just call him Joe Pesci. That's literally what he is. Hmm. Oh. Um, yeah, he wasn't really a focus. He was, was facing. He wasn't the human representative character. I guess. Luke, Luca was the human. I will, I will give them that. But like, if they really wanted Bayonetta to have a kid, there's nothing stopping John from Bayonetta from having a kid together. They're, they're both like witches, you know. She doesn't need to get married to have a kid. But if they want to do the, the kid arc, they're both magical witches. Yeah, also she is a magical witch. She can literally just have a kid on her own. Yeah, she like, can just be like, who'd you get pregnant with? Myself. Also, she doesn't need to like, have a no, biological child. No, 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 motherfucker, wow. why is that there? God damn it, Alan. Stop uh, running off the edge, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry, I went over your rant there. No, it's, it's like, she doesn't need to get married to have a child. She doesn't need to have a biological child. Good yeah. lord. I feel like adoption is a very real thing that Bayonetta it's, would do. It's like Charlie and the Franks all over again. It's like, uh, what, what's her? <laughs> Charlie and the Franks. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like Shizu Abe won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, There's just a lot of decisions that they made that I'm like... Okay. They're just like, why? Like, at best, I would play that game purely for, the, for like, the mechanics and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't a barrel I was trying to shoot. Jesus. Wow, that guy a... just fucking tackled you. Yeah, I, he got shoulder checked to death. It was a piece of a barrel that I, I was shooting. I thought it was a barrel. You know, give credit to, like, the Lar was it the Tomb Raider uh, reboot trilogy. Everyone was so afraid that 
they would try to pair her up with Jonah, and they didn't do it. And I respect them for doing for not doing that. And luckily, like, nothing bad happened to Jonah. I'm gonna die again. Oh uh, well, no, you're right. Nothing bad did happen to him. At least I assume. I don't know about the comics. Uh, I think what's funny is that um, is that uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm losing my train of thought. Tomb Raider. No, it's like, the, the, like, I enjoyed the reboot trilogy. It just, it, the only problem is that they really could not think of, like, a better boss battle. <laughs> like, yeah. a final boss battle. Like, they're all the same. Having Jesus showing up was a choice. That was so fucking funny, though. It, to be fair, though, it's not, it's not Laura's first time with meeting... Jesus figures? Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say God figures. You know what's funny is that I read like I read the second the the second game as a as like a breakup <laughs> like, <laughs> like a breakup game like after she broke up with Sam because Sam needed to be uh, taken to a, a facility because uh, the stupid her ghost ancestor was still inside her body like pieces right. of him ago or something. Sorry, when you said breakup, I thought you meant the whole game was about her breaking up with Jesus, and I got real confused for a hot second. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that'd be really funny. No, it was like to be fair. I read that it, it, it to me, it's like a like a breakup, like an after breakup with Sam, because like I forget the name of that lady who like almost who like almost kills you. Like I read that as like her and Laura having a thing, like a real like a rebound thing. Wasn't that lady? Hold on, the bad the bad guy wasn't. I'm getting no, confused with something her, else. No, not the bad guy lady. Okay. The lady in the village. In the, okay, okay. The Jesus Sorry. village. Who, there's, there's only a couple women that try and kill Laura, all right? <laughs> no, she like, she almost kills you because you, because you're you like an outsider. And then she's like, I remember now. She's, yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. I still really love Shadows, though, God. Everything about Shadows. Uh, it, yeah, I, I, stopped my, I stopped my replay on the second one. And I didn't get around to the, haven't done the third one. Just letting you know that Shadows is just... Like, it's good mechanically. Like, it, it, it's... um The story is a little bit flimsy, but... Playing the game is so damn fun, I'm able to overlook it. That's good. Like, it, it's not... Like, I'm not joking. That game is just so fun. Like, oh, I so I can't hit that. The, 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 I, what I was doing was useless. I 100% I, I completed uh, Shadows, like, but I didn't do, like, the, what is it, the higher difficulty? Because the dif higher difficulty is so fucking crazy. Uh, because what they do is that, you know the little markers to let you know where you can climb? God damn it. Yeah. They get rid of that in uh, higher difficulties. And then, the, and then they also, um... I don't think you. You stop it. How else am I get the flare down there? Oh my god! No, was it? What ends up happening is that um, in high older, higher difficulties, they get rid of the the climbing uh where you, where you can tell where to climb, and also they like rearrange. Puzzles. Oh, I did it. Oh, the rearranging of puzzles is cool. It's just it's like so hard. It just be, it's like you have to you have to know what you're gonna do, where you're gonna go. It's it's crazy. You think these TVs are gonna attack me? Yeah. I did really like the outfits. The outfits are really good. Yeah. Speaking of TVs, especially the old CRT TVs, mm -hmm. uh, I do you know of the comic uh, Sadako San and Sadako uh, Chan? Yes, I think I do. Where Sadako oh. becomes a VTuber? Oh my god. Okay, I didn't read that much. That's really funny, actually. I mean, yeah. you gotta give the times. So it's 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 uh, related to a, uh, one of the movies where uh, they think this little girl is a reincarnation of Sadako. She's not. Okay. All right. Uh, what did they do, kill her? No, the, she's got psychic powers because everyone in that series has psychic powers. <laughs> um. Um. And they think that she's a reincarnation of Sa uh, Sadako. Uh, -huh. uh, so her mother keeps her trapped in a room. Oh my god. And that's just like, that's just like the introduction. Like, that's not like the whole thing. 
Uh, but Sadako, uh, San Sadako chan, yeah. is basically like Sadako realizes it's this little girl being abused, uh -huh. but doesn't want to tell her because she likes her so much. Okay. But it's just basically them trying to be VTubers. Oh my god, what a weirdly dark premise for something so cute. It ends up from... Now, I've only seen a review of it, but it ends up being really wholesome. Wow. Like, they keep bugging this dude who's a fan who, like, works with them once. Okay. And Sadako is just like, get a CRT TV so I can curse you. That's and awesome. It's like, nobody has those. I can't find one. She's like, come on. That's the only way I'm comfortable cursing people. That's, Can't you go through a weird. phone? No, it feels weird. <laughs> All I can think about is Freddy. It's like, I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> that always yeah. sticks with me. That's so funny. Also, I found out because uh, uh, oh, is it the reactioner I, I follow? Is it Al yeah. Alanda? She posted her reaction video of a uh, new Nightmare on Elm Street. And okay. that, that is so interesting. Have you seen New Nightmare? New Nightmare. Which one is that? Is that the it's one with Jackie Earl Haley? Or? It's a 1994 okay. movie. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's the one where Wes, Wes Craven was doing like a weird uh, metacontextual Freddy thing, right? But that's so interesting. I really yeah. like that. The whole idea of like the entire Nightmare series up until that point was a, was a was a was a, a movie in real life, and then the actress who played Nancy was actually just an actress, and then the like Freddy becomes real. That's so cool. I like that. Yeah, like the, like the whole premise, the idea, and I loved it because that was Wes Craven who did that one, so he is basically returning to it. But it's like, what if horror movies are meant to keep an entity inside and not being able to hurt us? That's and so, not I making, love that. I and love not that. making the horror movies means you can get out. That's, Plus, that's Freddy's awesome. design, the trench coat design, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I, it was actually pretty fun. <laughs> they still did the whole, like, phone thing, though. <laughs> So I thought I saw. Wait, what? I was having a moment there. I thought. I thought the I game thought... broke. I thought the game broke. <laughs> I really peaked the audio there, but. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, back at it. Did they add that in because too many people couldn't figure out what to do? That'd be really funny if that was true. Hi, Sarah. That's the doctor. Hi, doctor. Hi. I don't know who you are. Whatever. Bye. Zane, am I doing this to me or are you doing this to me? I don't know. Zane's being weird. Are you about to walk on walls or something? Uh, oh no! It, those oh, it's a physics thing. Watch. And that's how we wrecked the train. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, that's so cool. That'd be really funny. You died just instantly. I thought I saw an entrance. I wanted to see if I could sneak through it. <laughs> Jump into the water, Alan. Or not. Oh, that's I'm... neat. That's neat. You know what? I'm actually really enjoying this one. Yeah, this is. I find I like this one a little bit more. Yeah, uh, I think I'm with you. When this game wants to do puzzles, it's a lot more fun than when this game wants to do. Uh... FPS. Yeah. When, yeah. When, when it's trying, when not trying to be a shooter, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> Alan Wake's Wacky World. Can the game break again and show us where to go? Oh, there's a doorway. What What if we got out of this and there's a giant Allen just spinning this? <laughs> really funny. That'd be cool. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, except for the fact that we have to wait again.
God, you could just hear the sheer panic in my voice. Oh, just <laughs> yeah. I could feel myself falling. <laughs> I was like, hit one of the lamps, hit one of the lamps, Alan. Okay, so I think I missed the exit, and that's why I died there. Oh, okay. Oh, remember the vault right at the very end of the game? No. Remember we're in like a power plant place, and we're trying to turn the power back on? And that's where we find a book, and that's where we write our, write our wife back into existence? <laughs> wow. Oh, so the physics opens the vault. That's so neat. Just a box. Sure, why not? Next stop, Sanity. <laughs> like, this, is like all this is like Silent Hill. It's a dream. Yeah. This is a vast place, home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Okay, thanks. Uh, I think we're about halfway through. Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted More Nordic to see, walking. But obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Incontestably proven health benefits. Sure. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, TV Allen versus Gameplay Allen. Yeah. Because it's like, these are both... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Like these are both Alan. These are both. Much closer these are both his thoughts, and part of him does. They can get out, and part of him is driven to get out. I don't know. I kind of like it. Oh boy, hey, we're back to we're back to FES. Back to the arena. I don't know what happened to you right there. If you're wondering, that did not hurt. Me. Gets hit in the head by a flying piece of metal and dies. Just shut up. <laughs> Don't put that in out into the world. Wait, am I going to the thing that? Okay, that's the that's the correct way to go because that's where Zane's. You know, we're going over there. Never mind, we're not exploring. Don't care about the video games. Don't care. Nice. Run. <laughs> that's right. Alan will run out of dodging. By the way. That's so lame. I'm Can't in catch the light. me, gay thoughts. It's so funny how, like, they can't get through the light, but you think they would, like, still throw something, right? Oh, that happened on our original run. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we like, fully went into the light. You can't give me the light! Throw something at you. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall down there. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. There was no power to the log lift. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Oh, we gotta complete the wire. You know, it's funny you say that. Legitimately, this whole episode, special one and two is... Yeah, thanks, Alan. Because he's doing this all to himself. Yeah.
It's just like any game where I've had to build something and try and like figure out the most efficient. Oh my god, it's a mini game. <laughs> Dead by daylight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, do I gotta run now? <laughs> Have fun with that. Oh, speaking of, I reblogged the post of Dead by Daylight, Dead by Daylight, showing the Xenomorph. Oh yeah. Have they you seen that a, post? Yeah, uh, they also had a Chucky. Well, no, no. The fact that the Xenomorph's got the cake. Oh. Check well, out the post I reblogged. I don't want to now. <laughs> uh. Oh, I can. I have to manually. Wow, I feel like okay. This, I feel like this could have been a cutscene. Uh-huh. No, no, I'm seeing it. I'm looking right at it. Wow, okay. Right? Wow. No, 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 no. Get, get Alan. Stupid motherfucker. How did Alan have the strength to push that? I don't know. He's Go got the log, Alan. <laughs> oh, my God. He's wearing a tweed drac jacket with patches. He's not a strong man. I do appreciate it. We just said fuck the collectibles immediately. The that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. <laughs> Thanks, Zane. I think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two not of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not yes. the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I am not. What? I don't understand. What? Alan, you should keep going. Thanks. Zane, Zane come on. It, it's a reference to the first game. So Barbara Reaver was the creepy old woman. Do you remember the creepy old woman? Yeah, I remember. Right. So, God, we really should have read the full Wikipedia article before diving in. <laughs> Gone to fandom and... Well, fandom's not a great site. It's not a great no. wiki site. No. I hate that it's the only one in the game for a lot of the smaller... Smaller titles. Not saying that Alan Wake is small, like popularity but small in the amount of content yeah um because what was the clicker the clicker was the thing at the end of the game i want to say so zane, zane so so basically this is recontextualizing the end of the alan wake by saying that zane didn't write that page or didn't direct someone to write that page like like what like we had thought um, which has horrible, horrifying implications for who might have written that page. Because it's saying that Alan did that without knowing anything about it. <laughs> oh, there's Anne again. Uh, I think we're going to stick with the hunting rifle. We know I don't want to hit Crumble. Okay, now I want to hit Crumble. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that. Missed. There we go. Boom. I can definitely hit boom. I have way too many vague memories of the first game. You think they would have included the clicker in the uh, recap if it was that important? <laughs> oh my god. 
Legit, when they said clicker, I thought, you know, like in Le uh, uh, Last of Us. I, you know, yeah, I thought it was about Last of Us too. I mean, how often do you hear the word clicker? So to be fair, when I when I hear clicker, I think about the, the that thing. What is it that, where they use, you like count steps or something, where you click the button yeah. to count? Uh, yeah. Or a dog training tool? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Alright, I ran out of uh, uh, shots for my hunting rifle. So Starfield didn't get a nom nod for Game of the Year. Makes sense. You know, like, when I watch actual gameplay of that, like, is that... The things they, they like when they did the whole what is it Xbox? A moment, I can help you. Is it here. Xbox? It was Xbox, right? When they did uh, their little pres their little presentation, like a lot of the stuff they listed were like, oh, that sounds pretty good. And then when you watch gameplay, you're like, I don't know, this is kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. The hell are you doing that? And you know me, um, sci-fi is such a mixed bag for me. Yeah, I don't think there'd be enough in Starfield to keep your attention. No, it has yes. to be fun. I you. Well, ha there has to you be like cer some certain level of goofiness for me to like give a shit. I think it would, if I could like pick a spot to spawn in, like I would spawn in the cowboy world, and I'd be like, I'd rather just be here. All right, so Zane was influencing us. <clears throat> You know, I'm glad we're getting this amount of refresher before we do the next game of the series, you know, American Nightmare. Because <laughs> I'm sure uh, it'll be highly important for that run and gun game you're going to play. I'm literally, I'm just going to look up exactly what it is. Just going to look it up. Uh. What, the clicker? Or no, the American Nightmare. I just wanted to see exactly how it looks. It looks more like New Vegas. We have 16 players. It's kind of funny to watch the axe just bounce off his head. Should I just like start downloading uh, uh, American Nightmare? Uh, when do you think we'll play it? I have no idea. Uh, I think I'm... Mm, right now I think I'm free Sunday, but I might have a game. You know, this isn't a discussion on stream. What am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, start no, downloading. We're, we're going to play. Bunch of boards. What was that? Sorry? I said you'd be chased by a bunch of boys. Yeah, I can't hear you over the goddamn crows. So <laughs> let me get past this and then we can talk. Hold on, hold on. Let me listen. let me just change the battery real quick. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that was cool. <laughs> That's so funny. Sorry, what were you trying to tell me? Uh, I don't even remember anymore. I was saying we shouldn't be making schedules. We should do this off stream, and then you yeah. start to. It's like well, either way. I think we should just align in like in that. So whatever. Okay. I'll find out. I'll find. You know what? I'll find out when I do the editing. <laughs> <laughs> Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Uh huh. Yeah. Thanks, sure. Alan. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. 
Ooh, this is gonna be a jumping puzzle, isn't it? Like, we love jumping puzzles. I will say, I've enjoyed this one way more than Signals. Well, yeah, the first one was like, it's like, you like, <laughs> you like shooting things, right? Yeah, this this one has just been more exploring the story. It's more been more puzzle heavy. Yeah, more puzzles. Did we reach the lighthouse or no? Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start. He's a little robot office, from Fully Cooley. Crash. <laughs> head trauma. All due respect to Dr. Man, I need to look up the Fully Cooley follow ups. A neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah. I, I it's so surprising to know about how, like, Fully Cooley actually was more popular in the West compared to Japan. Has resulted in it, that does make sense. So, like, the, uh, that's, that's a big thing they see with Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some movies that just completely bomb in Japan, but they be, people in America go wild for them. Because, oh, the, yeah. because you know, different audiences want different things. Uh, I don't know... What was the name of the some new shonen anime? It was like some dude with a sword. Literally, I don't anything of it. Apparently, for like, uh, from the first episode, like, it did so well. Like, it got super popular over here, just from one episode, and then a, a bunch of people in Japan, Japan reacted to it. It was like, what the hell? It's just one episode. How the hell is it so popular over there? Look how creepy I'm moving Alan while we're doing this. Stop breaking it. Like, stop turning him into a weird Lego. <laughs> so, it's, 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 like, it's kind of like how Cowboy Bebop is, was way popular over here. Do I have to listen to this? Can I just leave? I don't know. Can you imagine this is extremely important? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably Honestly, not. the both of them should have just gotten a divorce. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Uh... That sounds like fun, okay. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out tried to understand your uh, this is Alan's voice not Alice's voice if you catch my meaning yeah yeah what he thinks she thinks of him self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch all you had to do was <laughs> Sam Wow. Ouch. I, I just can't argue with that. Alan, this is obviously self-deception. Like literally, everything here is you, my dude. This is all about keeping him in the darkness. Where's my gun? Oh, don't worry, it took care of itself. But yeah, it's, it's it's all about keeping him in the dark. All right, let me ask you a good question. Yes. Would you keep this painting in your psychologist's office? No, it would freak the fuck out of me. Okay. What about this one? What is it? What am I looking at? Is that like it's a Van Gogh? No, it, it's a it's a bird. It's a bird beak. Oh, I thought it was like a landscape. <laughs> is it one of those paintings? No, not at all. It's, it's a bird beak. With, it's got a landscape behind it, but that's in the background. I thought it was like I thought it was a landscape. It wasn't the truth. It was just another oh, well. toxic mirage. Have some poison poured in your ear. That's what the achievement description is. <laughs> this is just this is just like oh man. This is, you know what this is better therapy for Alan than the whole game was. Yeah. 
To be fair, the, the the game was just him reacting to a terrible situation, and this is him just like dealing with it. Oh, except, I was supposed to go up there and shoot that. Except for episode one. Episode one was just him running around trying not to die. This is actual therapy right here. Yeah, like he, he was definitely like. But both both of them. Nope, there go my batteries. Thanks. Thanks, Zane. I'm assuming you put that there. Um. Run. Like, like the first one was him like pretending that there was something in control beyond his control, right? That's what Signals was about. Yeah. But this one is about is that it's legit legitimately under his control, and it's just about the oh my god. It's about the extent of which he has control over the situation. It's kind of like, what is it that, it was it that post on Twitter, I, th I think it was by someone, uh, some game company that was like, you control the buttons you press. What was that, sorry? It's like, you control the buttons you press. You gotta move your mic like a little bit closer, a little bit quiet for me, what, what the oh hell my the God. game is. I said, uh, forget it, it's already done. The moment's gone. It sounded like you said you can feel the buttons you press, and I didn't. I said understand you control that. the buttons you press. Oh, okay. Wow, the that fact makes that you way keep making sense. me like explain myself is just makes it worse. Listen, it's legitimately not me. The game can get very loud. Jesus, that was just heavy. That was really heavy, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Do you regain health of your light? Uh, yeah. I can't remember. I couldn't remember that part. Well done. You have come far, but there's still Thanks for the fucking battery, Zane. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful, just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. So I was really fascinated by that, by that <laughs> box. Now, you ever feel like a plastic bag? Oh, uh, constantly. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure, and he will never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan... It's all in your head. It is. I love you. They kept coming. Oh, uh, well, okay. That was a nice moment ruined by our crazy Yeah, listen. Kind of appropriate. Like Super funny. Oh, cool. Oh, right. I have a lighthouse now. <laughs> cool. Thanks, lighthouse. You still got hit by something. I did. Lighthouse. Lighthouse, I need you. Lighthouse. <laughs> Thank you, Lighthouse. Oh my god. It's like I have an orbital laser. Uh, lighthouse, oh, like, I need you to come around again. Like Kimiko and Star Rail. Sorry, I keep bringing up Star Rail. I just really want to go back and play it. Like Ichiban and like a dragon. <laughs> How many video game references can we fit? Uh, like uh, uh, Rex and Xenogears, Xenoblade Two. <laughs> uh, like Velvet and from Tales of Berseria. Like uh, uh, Dom and uh, wait, no, Phoenix. What was the guy's name in Gears of War? That bitch with the hammer of Dawn. I don't know. I never played Gears of War. They had John DiMaggio in it. 
Well, yeah, the, just say John DiMaggio. It's like, I'm not going to know who the character is. Like John DiMaggio and, and the... Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought that was a collectible. Didn't that look like a collectible? <laughs> no, it didn't. It looked like a, it looked like the game box. I didn't know it was a oh. shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everyone died. My orbital laser just killed everyone. Oh, my God. It's like, was it, didn't like Ashley Birch voice a character in Gears of War? Like his daughter or something? Was it Ash or was it Laura? I don't know. I think Laura played a main character. Both tr the both things we're saying can be true. Okay, no, it, it was Laura. It was Laura okay. Bailey. <laughs> it was one of the two great women voice actors that we know. So, you know why I remembered that? Why? Uh, one of the, uh,. Um, Halloween episodes, they all dressed as characters they voiced. Uh huh. And Laura was dressed in the full armor. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Critical Role Halloween. I don't know if I said that. I mean, it's obvious, but you know. Not I mean, I knew has. what you were talking about. You, know, you can. Yeah, but not everyone would have that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, clarification for other people. I get it. Probably collectible down there. Let's see. Don't you want to go down into the spooky hole? I want to. I want to. I want to get to the end of the story. This feels like it's too easy, like something bad would happen at the end. No, well, here's what I think it is. Jesus. Uh, while, while all these things are still happening to Alan, mm -hmm. he has he has the guiding light now. That was the thing that he was missing. He understands what he needs to do to, uh, to get the help he needs, basically. And that's what the lighthouse represents here. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's a... It's a it's a victory run of sorts because, you know, he finally has all the tools necessary. Okay. That's my interpretation. I can accept that. There has to be some some light of the darkness, which is why really we get a which is why we get a, a sequel after like um, 13 years. Yeah. He still hits. Fuck you. I think we killed him right before our orbital laser cannon. <laughs> so funny. Laser, laser, laser. Thank you. Nice. The lighthouse. I was relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. Like we're collectible. We're no. Huh. I don't see Max and Chloe at the end of episode five. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I, was not, I did not know where you were going with this. <laughs> Why did they go to the lighthouse? One uh, version of Max said that's where we need to go. But what information did she have that we as the viewers never got? We as the uh, players never got. She needed to have a really cool shot for the video game to end. Remember, you're evil for accepting your faults and not trying to change the past. What was it? Oh, where it's like, it's like it's better Jane to. Me. I wasn't sure to, what like, completely just fall. not do anything, now, never help anyone. Yeah, yeah, Still, yeah. Got me this far. God, just they did not understand their own themes by the end of that game. <laughs> just complete mixed messages. Should we do a Life is Strange? I think Run. we tried to do, try to do that, but we or we just stopped. I guess. I mean, I no, did want to. No, the the video got corrupted. Oh yeah, that's probably it. I did I did want to do like a whole life is strange like. Uh, Retrospective. Stream. Like mega stream where I do the yeah. first game and then the second game and pretty much all the games tied to Life is Strange. Like what is it? I forgot the name of the one game, the free game with the uh, captain. Captain something. Yeah. Yeah, that, captain with that kid. Tracker. And then I want to do True Colors again. And uh, I, I want to do Tell Me Why, too. I was going to say I, Tell I, Me Why, yeah. I know it's, I don't know if it's connected, but I don't know. I think it's within the same universe, but not any powers-based thing. Okay. Well, I still want to do it. No, yeah, I would love to do So the order we'd go in is Life is Strange 1. Oh, right, before the storm. Oh, my God, I can't believe we forgot. <laughs> if, we're doing Sorry, it in release, if we're doing it in release order, it's Life is Strange 1. Uh, two, 
Wait, Life of Strange 1, Before the Storm, 2. No, Captain Spirit, then 2. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to look this up. Life the release order? Strange games. In Oh, they already, okay, that was already in uh, there. Okay, so we have... Um, Life is Strange first, then Before yeah, the yeah. Storm. Uh, oh, the event, the kind of awesome adventures here. of Captain Spirit. Uh, then we have Life is Strange two, true, and then True Colors. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. So yeah, yeah. Uh, b Before the Storm is is right after Life is Strange. Okay, for some reason I thought two had come out before Before the Storm. Yeah, I know, right? It's weird. Remember when we thought Deck Nine? Huh, weird choice. I wonder what they can do with the series. Now Deck Nine owns it. Yeah, now they have it. <laughs> now they're. I love how biased they are towards them. It's so funny. No, they super love stuff. Like you can, <laughs> you can choose between Steph or Ryan, and then completely makes a comic specifically where Alex and Steph <laughs> like go on a trip. <laughs> I'm disappointed you couldn't choose both. What does it say about you? Wait, are we fighting Barry now? I think so. No, Barry. Oh. What happened to Barry in the first game? I think he died. He died. But I don't remember if he got taken over or not. I don't remember. Oh man. It's great that you first make yourself an imaginary friend, and then you can't even get along with that guy. People skills, Al. You're a master. Damn. He's like, thanks for giving me all this stuff, Barry. It's like you almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> I've been holding off. I've been holding off. <laughs> this is the le literally the last possible moment we could make any jokes about that. You're welcome. So this is this is uh, this is uh, I don't want to say crazy, Alan. This is uh, self-destructive, Alan's last attempt to uh, to fuck with you. Ow! Slow the fuck down. You know in control with those really fast guys that are super annoying? Yeah. Oh, is that the doctor? I think it is. Fuck you. That explains why he was so fast. Hey, I'm out of uh, flares. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, no! it's the metal guys. No. Those guys are. Oh, they're so cool. Why? Did somebody shoot me? This is self destructive Gallon. He's thinking yeah, those about. Two, those two guys had nothing but positive words for him. I know. But yeah, but Alan hates himself so much that anyone saying something nice about him makes him hate them. Yeah, it's like you complimented me. You complimented Fuck you. me. You obviously hate me. I want to kill Thor last. Thor, get out of the way, Thor. I want to kill you last. Oh, should have reloaded. You know what? You know what? This was, this is a dumb thing I was trying to do. I thought it'd be funny. Real dumb. Oh my god. No! Good night, sweet prince. And a chorus of uh, Harleys send you to unto thy rest. God damn it! I ran out of flare. If I had known, I would have saved my flares for the birds. Oh, now it's Barry. Fucking birds. God damn birds. Bad 
Mary, no! Oh, there's hey, some more of it. Why does he have an effect now? Oh, because it's the not funny anymore. Fucking, the birds are just going to kill me. Because it's not funny anymore, that's it. Yeah, listen, Barry's, Barry didn't kill me, the birds killed me. The birds did? Okay, don't use your flares until, like... No, my flares are gone. It's saved at each stage. No! Uh, I think something messed up. I didn't have birds when I fought these two before. What happened? I hope the birds couldn't hit me there. Fucking birds. I know that I wouldn't have ammo for it. Kind of wish I had the hunting rifle. Yeah. No! I had to do the dead by daylight thing. I stunning him with the uh, flashlight. Yeah. You know what's funny is that Chucky has a special line if you like flashlight blind him. Yeah. He says like, I'm gonna smash that flashlight across your head. <laughs> It's like, oh, you know, like, because what's funny is that it's it's the doll, right? It's the good guy. But, but the whole, there's a mechanic in Dead by Daylight where you carry your victims. So you're, you're like, well, how the hell is that happening? It's like, it's the ghost of, uh, Ray, uh, what's his fucking name? Charles Lee Ray. Charles Lee Ray picking up both Chucky and the and the victim. I like that. I, I almost said Brad Dourif. I'm like, nope, that's the actor. <laughs> Eventually, they're gonna add in Tiffany. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be her. Nice. That's so fucking awesome, actually. No, no. <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> I shouldn't be blamed for that one. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what it is. I don't know how to feel anymore. Just shove me. Please, no more. <laughs> is he just going through every enemy type? Actually, I'm afraid to because they're horror. <laughs> you don't have to watch them. Well, you no. Just... It doesn't mean I just. Oh, because TikTok will start recommending you horror movies. Yes. I mean, I, I for a while it would recommend me like. What hey, is... we beat it. Oh, thank God. Fuck those birds. All right, time to go find us. Yeah, I got, got an achievement. Here we go. Final cutscene. Oh, we're done. We yeah. enjoyed... Uh, listen, I really enjoyed this one until that final battle. I just, yeah, I that, just couldn't do it. Yeah, that final battle was really fucking lame. It's too dark. All right. Where am I? I can't find my way. Maybe... If Barry didn't have multiple my forms, I think I would have enjoyed that more. I get why. I but, like, sometimes... Dark. Sometimes video games don't have to have video game elements. Yeah. <laughs> you good, like Alan? That, my mind was clear. Zane had been right. I could think clearly again. But I couldn't survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible when they when say adam's fucking typewriter it wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again it was too easy hey to um in the dark place. wasn't this the end of the regular game so <laughs> him on the typewriter yeah let myself slip away but here i was 
the yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. Alan Wake 2. My name is Alan Wake. And I'm See you in 13 years. Hey, that's what Twin Peaks did. You know what? Fair. It would be really funny if they did say 13 years later. Yeah, if they had said 13 years later, that would be great. <laughs> Like I, I think I'm almost certain for the for the Twin Peaks see you in 20 years, that was just a line to be a mystery, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then they're like, hey, we can capitalize on this because people never forget things. No, they really That's, don't. I mean, look at look how many people are like Half Life Three. Well, look how many people are like Zack and Cody can finally have their Italian dinner. <laughs> yeah, their fucking Italian dinner. Okay, cool. We're just going to assume that there was no other scene to watch. All right. <laughs> now that we're into that one, what do you think of both specials? The first one was so was like uh, so much unnecessary combat. Like, but I get why because the darkness was attacking him to make, prevent him from following Zane. And then, yeah. I like the second one specifically because it was more puzzle heavy. Yeah, I I, I liked what the second one was doing more. Yeah. Overall, I have a cursor on the screen. Uh, it's just playing the the intro scene. Uh, yeah, I, I like I liked what the um, I thought both were neat story wise to establish what the future was going to be. You know, it explained Alan in the dark place. It eliminated the idea of the dark presence. While the dark presence is still there, it was saying that everything was happening was outside of the dark presence's influence. That's interesting because that suggests a lot for what Alan Wake 2 could be. If the Dark Presence is no longer influencing him and he's no longer being held back by his, you know, self-destructive thoughts and he has the full power to write reality, that's cool. It makes you wonder, like, well, what's the other character's purpose? Remember, because Alan Wake 2 introduced another character that you can control? Yeah. Yeah, the, when we get to Alan Wake 2, which I assume I'm going to be playing. Yeah, you will uh, play that, but I will play Alan Wake's Wacky Adventure. <laughs> yeah, you're going to play Alan Wake in Wonderland. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Pl I mean, we got to finish Control. Oh, I, yeah, I'm the one who has to finish Control. What if Control ties into Alan Wake 2? I'm pretty sure it does. What about Quantum Break? Are we going to play Quantum Break? I don't think uh, we're going to play Quantum Break. No. <laughs> okay so overall the same frustrations we had with the combat <laughs> did not change <laughs> when they At initially all. released these specials like 10 years ago no uh but i had fun this was fun Th this is a good prep for alan wick too yeah well prep for you i'm we, we're gonna go straight into nightmare or american nightmare and then we're gonna go to alan wick too yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a little time. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and set off. Uh, sign off. Thanks for uh, joining on this one, pals. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>